Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a round from McLeod Gundam, who was playing a uh, Vish Donahue Goof on Goof Day, September the 2nd. Um, it's Goof Day because the various, the various there's various ways to pronounce numbers in Japanese, and some of them sound like the uh, katakana that go into Goof, Goofu. So that's uh, how you get to that, and... It's also why May the 9th is, is Goku Day. Five is Go, nine can be Ku, among other things. So yeah, and good uh, good clash with that uh, that uh, Gelgug so far. It is the A-type Gelgug, as you can tell by the shield on the back, and it dodged well, but good, uh, good backswing there, caught it. Uh, sorry if I'm a little bit slow on the uptake, I have a terrible headache and I'm just trying to get some recordings done before I go lay down and do the Benadryl and Icy Hot on the Neck and all of those good things. Ooh, that, yeah, that's, I have that happen a lot lately. Trying to, trying to take this particular point on this particular map is, ah, it's difficult at best. So, looks like that is a Garrett Schmitzer Zaku, uh, uh, smacking that goof. Which, yep, managed to take it down. There was uh, nobody else around there with uh, with McLeod, so he will have to uh, spawn back from the base because it doesn't look like anybody else is in much of a hurry to take a waypoint either. Again, I've had a lot of that on this uh, map as well. Just, it's... You really do need to take at least one point. Two or more is better, obviously, but... Ah, does it just because you don't doesn't mean that you're going to... Uh, you're going to lose. The team seem to be supporting each other relatively well. They do seem to be uh, focusing things and keeping each other from getting focused, uh, as best I can tell. So, if they all get back together, they uh, will probably have a good go of it. They're already ahead by 500 points. Uh, McLeod is going to take that. Okay, a thousand points. And yeah, McLeod's going to take that point. That's good. Again, it's important to have those. So. And, yeah, everybody is coming back around, but okay, he's got it, and time to get in the goof. Luckily, the team just came over and uh, backed him up, so he's, uh, yeah, he's in a good position. And they've got, let's see, his team's got two raids, a uh, goof custom and a uh, Zaku flipper, so that should be interesting. That, of course, is Hygog, which has gotten a bunch of buffs, didn't quite land the uh, stab. And Hygog is... Yeah, it's gotten quite a few buffs, and it's a lot better than it used to be. Good downswing. I think he got the first half of it, but he's going to catch both halves of that. No, only one. Positioning is weird with that sometimes. Use the Heat Rod, which is fast enough that you can do a lot with it if you're uh, careful. Um, you can really wreck somebody's legs with it very nicely. So that's going to be it for the Hygog. And now there is Dom Cannon, looks like. I wonder if it's the single or double barrel type. Um, it's the double barrel. The single barrel was a clan match reward. The clan match reward should be going into uh, uh, should be going into uh, the lottery at some point soon. We're actually behind two. The uh, the Gym Night Seeker two, which is of course a different beast from either the standard Night Seeker or the V type that just got added, and also the uh, Dom Cannon single barrel type. So. I believe we're, yeah, right now we're the Ramzagok, so, yeah, they really need to get on that. And now, the rest of the team's mostly dead, but he's managed to catch them at a choke point really well there. Didn't manage to tag the Schmitzer Zaku with the uh, tackle, but he held it still long enough to downswing it. Agu guy finally managed to capitalize on him being there by himself, and yeah, they did get him, but, man, that he held out a good long time against uh, three or more enemies, which is very hard to do. Sorry, crud in my throat. Sinuses are draining. I will feel better. Just going to take a while. Three minutes, 45 seconds uh, left. They've got a solid 1,300, 1,200 point lead. That's not bad. Uh, again, they're sticking together fairly well. So it's, it, yeah, decent situation. And just got to find a good opportunity to uh, get in there. And that looks like one. Uh, let's see. Ace match and... I think he may have a shot at being the ace, so... Did, again, didn't catch the Schmitzer Zaku with a, a tackle that I feel like should have taken. But... Ah, tackles are weird, and... I swear there's just some kind of... Besides latency, I swear there's some other kind of math there that is 
not immediately clear as to who and what uh, allows tackles from what range. Okay, the Guff Custom is the ace, so that at least gives a pretty clear uh, idea of what ha needs to happen next, which is stun that, keep the ace alive, and hopefully let the ace kill it. Somebody else coming in, so, yep, Claude can, uh, can hopefully intercept. Ah, it looks like Zogok in here too, I think I saw it, but, oh yeah, it's on his team. Bleh. Yeah, sorry, can't bring today, have the dumb, etc. Um, good shot there, enemy ace has spawned back in. It is a, a the Gelgug player. Agu guy is headed towards him. Managed to uh, roll back out of the uh, whip range. May have taken some of the damage, but did not get uh, get heavy staggered, which is good. Ace has unfortunately been destroyed, but I think the ace was kind of was up there alone on the bridge, not be not with uh, with the code, uh, pinned down like that. Not a lot he could do, so. Uh, Yep, now he's just got to hopefully do something about this ace that's stabbing him in the back. Heat Rod out, didn't quite do it. He's low on health. Ah, uh, the ace is, uh, is retreating. Try tagged him with the beam rifle, he is running away. And yeah, 685 health. May as well go for it at this point, because got not much to lose if the ace is going to kill you either way. If, at, if anything, he may be able to, yeah, goad someone else into killing him to protect the ace, which in a situation like that, if you don't think you can get away, is actually a best-case scenario. Because they've only gotten a single round's worth of points for you instead of triple. So, yeah, if you can, if you can be enough of a threat to the ace that the rest of the team feels obligated to kill you, it can actually work out better for your team that way. I've done that a lot myself lately, but... Ah, never have been able to... I don't know if I've done it in a round I'm keeping, but, uh, don't think so. But, okay, and I'm saying but a lot, that's just my brain. Like I said, brain. It's brain. Uh, let's see, good, uh, ooh, good angle on the, uh, Agu guy. Good, a good slight repositioning to get, uh, a, so he would, uh, actually wouldn't knock the ace over. Yeah, really good stuff going on here. And stop the Agu guy. And yeah, again, sometimes you just stab things because you have to protect the ace. When you have a lead like this, protecting the ace is probably more important than letting the ace get the kill. It's, you know, sometimes you got to pick between holding the lead and, uh, you know, keeping the lead you have and expanding it. It's, it's, there are ace match, it is harder to make decisions in ace matches than I, than, than I tend to you know, talk about, then I tend to, uh, acknowledge, honestly. It just, the, just the basic gameplay loop to me f uh, feels more obvious than it is in the moment, and I'm trying to remember that myself, because I've been making some terrible ace match decisions lately. But they did a pretty solid job here, very close in the end. Did they get it? They got it. All right, very nice. And let's see the final scores. Okay, the uh, the ace managed to sweep it, 12k to 10k, 6 kills, 4 deaths, very nice. And yeah, not a bad goof day at all. So, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. So, till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I think I mentioned recently that the uh, uh, MS in Action designer who was behind most of the figures and behind the extended line in particular is on Twitter. And they were saying recently, while show on Goof Day, while showing off the prototypes of the uh, extended MS in Action Goof, that actually started uh, its design life as a Goof second version, uh, like the other second version things we gotten before. And it just got grandfathered into the extended line with an upgraded paint job, uh, once the uh, product, once development on the uh, Mark II uh, started in earnest, which was the first thing developed as an extended MS in action. So, again, just interesting stuff to learn, especially if you really liked that line as much as I did. So, yeah.